We begin in the Middle East. New tonight, the White House says Israel agreed to put in place four-hour daily humanitarian pauses in northern Gaza to allow civilians to flee. At the same time, there is a renewed diplomatic push to free hundreds of hostages abducted by Hamas, including a handful of Americans. We asked President Joe Biden about the hostage situation this morning. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen? Tracy, good evening to you. We're learning tonight that Israel will announce each daily four-hour window at least three hours in advance. Meanwhile, as President Biden was walking towards Marine One today, I shouted a question to him about the hostages. It was a rather brief exchange, but noteworthy. Take a listen. So the hostages in Gaza, your message to their families, your message to the families of the hostages in Gaza. They're not going to stop till they get them out. And it was earlier just this week when President Joe Biden asked Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to institute daily pauses in the fighting. A State Department official saying today at a briefing. We believe that this is uh, an important step in the right direction. We believe that it is a uh, byproduct of the U.S. government and this administration's efforts in the region. And over at Joint Base Andrews, where President Biden was continuing on his way to Illinois, he told reporters he's been asking for even longer pauses. In addition, the president responded to a question if he was frustrated with the Israeli prime minister that he has not listened to some of the things the president asked him to do. It's taking a little longer than I hoped. President Biden also addressed domestic issues. He told reporters before boarding Air Force One there's no need for a government shutdown, which is looming if Congress does not act. I wish the uh, House would just get to work. I'm not being facetious. I'm just not a political statement. The idea we're playing games with the shutdown at this moment is just bizarre. Later, President Biden visiting Belvedere, Illinois, to meet with the head of the United Auto Workers Union and highlight the reopening of an auto plant, part of the settlement of a union strike. So this opening of Belvedere again is a gigantic deal as far as I'm concerned. Just moments earlier, a person interrupted, yelling out, A long time. No, 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 let, let it go. Also tonight, a new AP NORC poll reveals nearly half of Democrats disapprove of how President Joe Biden is handling the Israel-Hamas conflict. The numbers, 50% approve, 46% do not. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.